I went down the rabbit hole of Forex right around 2009, right after the financial crisis. And it's not important how I got into it. Basically, it was the leverage and its uh, receptiveness to technical sorts of strategies, allegedly. At least that's how it goes. And I've been building automated Forex strategies since 2012. And I've been making tons and tons of videos on Forex strategies, as you can see on this channel if you go back, for several years now. But a couple of years ago, I started noticing that there are some really great traders who make a whole lot of sense, who seem to be doing very, very well trading futures. And it started to wear on me and it's starting to wear on me and to the point where I, th I think I'm there. <laughs> I think it's time that we got to stop talking about only Forex and start getting deeply into futures. So you can might say, finally, it's time to put up a free futures portfolio and talk about it and track it. Now, if you know that reference, finally, um, then I guess, you know, I guess we're on the same wavelength. Um, if you don't know this reference, then I respect you so much because I probably shouldn't know it. Um, if you look on the performance page, this is my website. Um, you will find brand new just now. I'm going to start tracking a futures portfolio for free. Now, why do I do it for free? because nothing I like more than t having people talk about free systems and being able to go test it for myself and heck, maybe make a little bit of money. Plus there's that feeling that you could publish the rules of a great system online or in a newspaper. Newspaper? You could publish it online and no one would follow it, right? So even if I give it away for free, it's probably not giving away anything. So cynical, but some people believe that. Uh, mostly I want to be helpful, uh, and I'd love for you to come watch my videos too. Wouldn't that be great? And tell a million of your friends. Um, but the reason I've gotten into this future stuff and making this video and putting it on my website now is that after all these years in foreign currencies, um, July really, really hit me. Uh, it made me wonder, is Forex sketchy? You know, you know there's these little chat rooms and you know there's these little dark holes of YouTube and the internet where people go in and it's scam upon scam upon scam. A lot of it is crypto. I hate to say it, but there's a lot of it in crypto, for example, right? But it's not just that. It's NFTs and now it's all sorts of whatever, AI-induced fraudulence. <laughs> is that a word? Eh, it feels like a word. Um, but... Live trading, real money in Forex last month, it really felt bad. It, there were some immediate stopouts on trend following strategies. It, there were immediate reversals as if someone was chasing down potential targets. I've had spreads widen to unheard of levels and stop me out of trades for no reason that were winning trades. It felt weird, it felt dirty, it felt strange. I'm not, I'm still a Forex trader, I'm still trading it, but, um, I wonder, should we be just doing more futures? I mean, futures has been around forever. Futures has transparency. Futures, all trades are cleared at the end of each day. I mean, there's, granted, there's been some frauds. I know in futures, I know. But it just seems so much more above board, right? When something can deliver, when someone can deliver a bushel of corn onto your front door, I feel like, hey, that's legitimate, right? But I wonder, you know, have, not only am I late to this futures game, but should we do, be doing all futures or at least some of it, right? That's really why I'm talking to you this month, and it's why I'm going to start tracking it on the website. Now we're going to start talk numbers. Past performance does not indicate future results. These are not live from live accounts. They're just meant to entertain and educate, right? Well, what's great about futures? Probably don't need to sell you on it, but you can do a typical trading day, meaning 9.30 to 4 p.m. Eastern, or you can do 24 hours. That's cool. I really wish Forex would be 9.30 to 4. I feel like I would do better. I feel like everyone would do better if it wasn't 24 hours. But to have that option is nice. Uh, the reporting is perfect. Granted, brokers themselves can be nefarious, but the reporting is, is top-notch. It's also easy for taxes. Um, what I've noticed, though, and I'm, what, multiple years in now for futures? Uh, I haven't talked about it before, but much. A um, little bit here and there. Um, but it works how you think it will work, which is really weird. Um, Forex was just so out of left field last month, for example, with it, some of its trading. Um, the futures is like, huh, 
well, I guess that was supposed to happen. It seems to happen. The drawdowns are understandable and the profits seem to be reasonable. I know that's not a very good <laughs> description, um, but trade it for a while and see if you feel the same. Uh, but it's, it is the only truly diversifiable arena of trading, right? Futures is you can diversify for real. You can't diversify in Forex. You can't diversify in stocks, not to this level. I know you can, but not to this level. You can't trade corn and gold and the S and P 500. Those aren't correlated, right? I guess gold, you know what I mean, right? You can trade palladium. You can trade cocoa, right? There's no way cocoa and the S and P are correlated, for example. So you can really diversify if that's what you want. It's really the best game in town, and it's not even close. Um, or you can only trade indexes, which is awesome. Trading indexes, trading future stock indexes is the most fun I've had since I can't even remember. It's so fun. Um, there's, you can follow it with the news. You can, you, you can follow along. Why is it doing well? Why is it doing poorly? You can, it's just so many fun things about trading indexes. Plus you can trade multiple strategies in one account. Oh, it's just wonderful, right? And the stock market has century long patterns that we can possibly exploit, right? It goes up after 12 PM, right? Or I'm just making that up, but you know, I've, there are seasonal, even within the day, seasonal patterns, daily patterns and so forth. So it's just been wonderful and, and an extraordinarily fun uh, time making up systems because you can have an idea. Well, the stock market does this and then you can test it out. So, um, for building this portfolio that we're going to track, we use three different time frames. We're not going to get super diversified. We're going to try to keep it very easy to follow. But we're going to use three different time frames that helps us diversify. Three different methods that helps us diversify. We're going to mix very high winning percentage with kind of a low winning percentage, uh, and we're going to mix trend which is, if you watch in my videos, the master trend Forex robot is a trend following system. It takes indicators and goes with the trend. And we're going to do that today instead of like going into overbought and betting it to go down to oversold. We're going to let it go into overbought and go with the trend. Okay. So the master trend robot does that on three different indicators. I've talked about it many times. It's not different to this channel. So that's going to be in this. Um, the others are going to be fair value style. I've made a fair value robot many years ago, and that's when it goes over. So you go wait for it to go oversold and watch it go to overbought, right? So um, it's like a pullback or even counter trend, but it's definitely different than obviously going long when it gets into overbought, okay? So we don't have a ton of diversification, but we have some. All right, here we go. Free system number one, can't beat the price. We're going to use the ES futures contract. Now on TradeStation, that's ES dot D as in dog, right? So you just type in at ES dot D and then the proper month and whatever. And it comes right up. This is basically trading from 930 to 4 p.m. Eastern only. Okay, so we're not trading 24 hours, five minute chart long only. RSI didn't do any optimizing. It just that's how it comes 14 length when it goes into over bought, right? When it goes into overbought, remember we're going with the trend and the overbought is set to 75. I've tested um, on the RSI 70 is typical. 75 is pretty good. Um, you can also, uh, other people have talked about trading RSI. Art Collins is one. I think Kevin Davey is another. Two good people to get for, uh, future systems from, by the way. little shout out to them. Um, but this one's set to 75, 80 is possible. Anywhere between 70 and 80 are good places to start. Um, when it goes into overbought, you enter at the open in the next bar. So when things start shooting up, we're going to go long. The target is $1,000 per contract. The stop is $400 per contract. And you close at the end of day. You do not carry this overnight. What does that look like? I'll tell you. Here's a trade from 2023. You can see RSI goes into overbought. We go long at the open of the next bar and we hopefully get a thousand dollars. Hooray, we did on this particular trade. I only show winners because systems never lose. Of course, that's not true. System two, this is very high win percentage um, using the RSI indicator on the ES. Uh, once again, again, we're only using 930 to four. So that's ES.D on TradeStation. This is a daily chart, however, and it's long only. First, price must be above the 100 simple moving average. When the RSI, this is the RSI 2, made famous by people other than me. 
uh, two length closes into oversold first. So it goes down into oversold. Then it must come out. You don't do anything when it goes into oversold. You let it come out first, and then you enter at the open in the next bar. And then to exit, when price goes into overbought, finally, finally, when it goes into overbought, then you exit at the open in the next bar. So there's no numerical. All right, this one, this one sounds a little weird, but here's what it looks like. If I can see it on my own screen. Oh, that's kind of tight, isn't it? I even made that bigger. Anyway, it goes down into oversold. Then you wait for the next bar to jump out, and then it enters at the open of the next bar. Actually, it might be right here, right? It, yeah, there, it comes out, and then open the next bar. Sorry if I did that, I'm looking at it from a bad angle. Same thing, it goes down into oversold, then it comes out, and then you go. Now, to get out, you wait, it gets to 70, and then you get out at the next bar, right? Now, if you, if you happen to be on your computer or you wanted to have it exit at the close, you could have your code do that. That's fine. But for this particular system, it waits for it to get into 70 and then gets out the next day. So that might be scary for you. I get it. But it's trying to catch a little overnight momentum too. Okay. Here are some recent winning trades. All right. This one wins a lot. How much? Well, it's at an 80% win rate since 1998. So that's pretty high, right? System number three, this uses the CCI indicator. This is really high percentage. And we've talked about, I believe, system two and three before, but if not, it's all new to you. Same with the ES, same with the ES.D, 930 to four. 240 minute chart this time, 240 minute bars. Again, we're long only. Price must be above the 100 once again. Very similar. When the CCI goes into or closes into oversold, I didn't want that. I wanted it to be negative 100 there thank you powerpoint by the way isn't it great that i use powerpoint i mean who uses powerpoint nobody anyway when it closes into oversold that's a negative 100 reading on cci you enter at the open of the next bar so it's 19 length so it's pretty big cci length it's not too twitchy when it closes into oversold, you don't wait for it to come out. You get, you get in right at the open of the next bar. So this one's different in that once it goes into oversold, you're getting in rather than waiting for it to come out. The target is 1.1 times the ATR just over the last 14 bars and stop is 9x. So it's a huge stop and a tiny win, right? But we have a long only bias in the ES. So we're using that to our advantage and not trying to stop out too much. Okay, ATR is there. If nothing happens for a long time, we have a time exit of 74 bars where we just get out. Okay, so what kind of high winning percentage is? I believe it's over 90%. It's humongous, right? But we're here to talk about, well, it's 95, <laughs> right? So, but we're here to mostly to talk about the portfolio, but you know, there you go. All right, as soon as it closes into oversold, you get into the open of the next bar. As soon as it gets into oversold, open in the next bar, oversold, next bar, oversold, right? 95%, these are some recent trades. Um, it wins a lot, <laughs> right? Because it has such a big stop. I mean, you'd expect that it's still a nice number, okay? But those individually are not why we're here, we're here for this. When you put all three in a portfolio, going back to the 1990s, right? Using the handy portfolio architect, my favorite thing in the world, this is what you get for annual returns. Now, a lot of smart people say that futures data is not as great pre-2007. I don't know if that's true. I wasn't trading futures pre-2007. I like to look at it anyway. So there, um, that makes me dumb, I guess. But if you look at it 2007 on, we have no losing years. What's interesting about this particular system is look at this recent, right? What if you used a $20,000 account? Well, that's over $40,000, right? So let's see. If you have a $20,000 account and your profit is $20,000, that's 100% return, right? If it's 40,000, that's 200%. I mean, that's massive, right? Look at these. Now, it's been coming down, but 2023, hypothetically, has been really good. And even if it gets back to these levels, if you had a $20,000 account, it's over 50% per year, hypothetically speaking, of course. And no real losing years, right? The, if it is a losing year, it's tiny. And if it's a down year like 2008, we still did okay. Hypothetically, of course, right? So interesting, huh? Is it worth your attention? Here's a net profit, profit factor. The drawdown's only 18.25% when the drop max drawdown occurred. 
Drawdown's only max drawdown is only twelve thousand, so a twenty thousand dollar account. I mean, maybe that's up to you. Um, an absolute drawdown. It never really went below our original count size very much at all. Twenty five hundred trades. Sample size is good. Profitable trades is up there over fifty percent. So, hmm, worth tracking, right? Worth watching a video on a free system if it has those numbers. I think so. I think it's worth tracking. And if this goes badly, then I'll stop tracking it, right? So you can follow along, um, go to scottwellstrategies.com and just go to the performance page. It's already up there. Um, this was made before I even made this video. So that will be changed by the time you see this. And look at that equity curve, right? Looks pretty good. Well worth our time maybe, huh? Huh? I feel like I'm way too late on futures, but you know the famous old saying, what's the best time to invest? 20 years ago. What's the second best time? Today, <laughs> right? So I don't, I'm not gonna beat myself up too much for not getting involved in futures, um, but it's definitely something that probably we need to spend some time on. By the way, I did put trading costs into all of these uh, and I did intrabar data checking. So uh, a lot of times in futures, you can get a great system on a daily, uh, daily system and you do intrabar testing and it's terrible. So I've gone through the rigor of both of those. So I feel like the testing is solid and uh, we can watch it together, right? We'll see how it holds up. So what do you think? Pretty amazing, right? Hmm. That's what I thought. Uh, we'll finish up with speed round. Um, thank you for liking. I guess YouTube wants you to like and subscribe. So I know that you and millions of your friends will do so. So I thank you. And Zach, thanks you. Go to what I have much more on my site and I'm tracking different things, Forex included. And of course, I've written a couple books. Love to you to buy 10 to 20 copies of each and put it on your Kindle. That's a video for this month. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back next month or maybe even sooner. Bye for now.